गुड मॉर्निंग शेम स्टार्स वेलकम टू मैथमेटिक्स क्लास टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद द लेसन नंबर एट फ्रैक्शंस इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न अबाउट फ्रैक्शंस सो लुक एट दिस पिक्चर वी आर हैविंग हाफ केक वन सिक्स पिज्जा वन थर्ड ग्लास ऑफ मिल्क टू रेड बैलून्स एज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ बंच ऑफ एट बैलून्स देर आर टू रेड बैलून्स आउट ऑफ टोटल एट बैलून्स सो दीज आर कॉल्ड फ्रैक्शंस मीन्स a part of a whole or collection is known as a fraction like we are having this whole complete pizza and we have taken one part out of that that is called as fraction that we have taken a part of whole a part from the whole that is called as a fraction next is fraction as the shaded part of a whole means one of the four equal parts is shaded that means fraction will be equal to shaded part divided by total part as you can see here in this picture we are having this square and it is divided into four equal parts and this one part is shaded so that means the fraction will become the shaded part number of shaded part is 1 divided by total parts total parts are there how many total parts are there four so it will become 1 by four next is we are having two of the four equal parts are shaded fraction will become shaded part divided by total parts now two parts are shaded that means two divided by four total parts total parts are four that means the fraction will become two by four next is 11 balls in the collection of 18 balls are shaded so the fraction for the shaded balls will be see 11 balls are sh shaded and out of total 18 balls that means the fraction will become 11 by 18 in activity 1 we will do the fraction first question is write the fraction for the shaded part means the shaded part is given you have to write the fraction in the first we are having eight balls and two are colored from that that means the fraction will become 2 divided by 8 next we are having triangles nine triangles are there and out of that three are shaded that means the fraction will become 3 by 9 next we are having 12 balloons out of that 12 balloons seven are shaded seven are colored that means the fraction will become 7 upon 12 then we are having this four trees then in this four trees we are having two shaded and two unshaded that means the fraction will become 2 by 4 the total number then we are having the sign of plus half is shaded and half is not shaded means this is 1 by 2 one part shaded out of two equal parts then next we are having this semicircular regions in this we are having 1 2 3 3 total parts and one is shaded that means one is shaded shaded part above the bracket then the three parts total 1 by 3 it will become then we are having two triangles out of which one is colored and one is as it is not colored so fraction will become 1 by 2 next we are having triangle in this three part of triangle are there two are shaded and one is unshaded so fraction will become 2 by 3 then we are having nine triangles out of that eight are shaded and one is unshaded so fraction will become 8 by 9 similarly we are having question number 2 shade for the given fraction we have to shade now earlier shading was given we have to write the fraction now we have to shade the fraction fraction is given to us we are having first question 1 by 3 triangle is divided into three parts and we have to shade 1 by 3 1 by 3 means we have to shade only one part out of these three parts we can shade any one part like this like here we have done the one shaded then we are having this circle and divided into six parts we have to show the fraction 2 by 6 now you can color any two given parts means any two you can shade then third is eight squares 
and 2 we have to shade it 2 by 8 so 2 we have to shade it we can shade any two regions next is 3 by 5 we have to shade three regions given here next is 1 by 4 we have to shade only one part out of these four equal parts then we are having 3 by 4 we have to shade three parts out of these four equal parts next we will move to finding fractions how we will find the fraction now first fraction is one half how we will find the one half one half refers to the one part out of two equal parts means if a two equal parts are given and we have taken one part out of that that is called as one half it is represented as one by two we can write it as one upon two and two halves make a whole like if i add 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 then it will become 1 here we are having like this in one example 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 this is a rectangle and we have cut it from the center so it will become 1 by 2 and this also will become 1 by 2 next we are having a triangle and we cut it into from center and we have shaded this one region and this one region is unshaded that means the fraction is 1 by Two, where we have taken one part out of two equal parts next is second part we are having one third similarly now one third means one part out of three equal parts one third refers to one part out of three equal parts it is represented as one by three so three one thirds make a whole if I add 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 then it will become 1 like here we are having this rectangle again and it is divided into three parts and one is shaded two are unshaded so fraction of each part will become 1 by 3 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 similarly we are having the triangle in this we have divided into two pa three parts so the fraction of each will become 1 by 3 if we have to find 1 by 3 we will divide by 3 we will divide the given number by 3 third is 1 fourth 1 fourth refers to one part out of four equal parts means there are four equal parts and we have to take one part out of that four equal parts that is called as 1 fourth it is represented as 1 by 4 four one fourths or quarters make a whole means and one fourth is also called as a quarter then one by four plus one by four plus one by four plus one by four if we add one by four 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 times then we will got the answer as one here we are having one square and we divided into four parts so fraction of each part will become one fourth one by four one by four one by four one by four next is one fifth one fifth refers to one part out of five equal parts one part out of five equal parts it is represented as one by five five one fifths make a whole means if i add one by five four five times then it will become one like here we are having the rectangle and cut it into five times so one by fifth is the fraction of each rectangle so these are the fractions how we have to find the fraction now activity 2 is based on this we have to color the shapes first question is color one half of the shape means the question is means we have to color one half of the complete shape means if two parts are given then we have to color only one part that is one out of two equal parts similarly in second also we are having two parts so we have to color only one part out of this two circles in c part again we have to color only one part out of the two parts now second question is color one half of the collection now here it is the collection and here you have given six circles means the six circles are given and we have to find the one half of collection one half of six as we have earlier discussed that one half of any number means we will divide the, that number by two 
with for one half we will divide by two for one third we will divide by three for one fourth we will divide by four for one fifth we will divide by five so when we divide this six by two we got the answer three now you have to color only three circles here from the collection you can circle any three then b part is one half of ten one half of ten ten divided by two and ten divided by two will be equal to five so means we have to color any five triangles over here in c part we are having one half of eight that means we have to divide eight by two and eight divided by two is equal to four so we have to color only four squares over here in this picture third question is color one third of the shape now shape is given we have to color one third that is we have to color only one part out of these three equal parts like in this first we are having three rectangle and we have to color only one then a circle is having three parts we have to color only one in triangle we have to again color only one of the picture then fourth part fourth question is we have to color one third of the collection now here again it is collection one third one third means one by three of number that is one third of nine so what we will do we will divide nine by three 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 is a nine and we have to color here only three trees next is one third of six six divided by three is equal to two that means we have to color only two flowers out of six flowers next is one third of fifteen one third of fifteen means fifteen divided by three it will become five so we have to color only five triangles in this next fifth question is color one fifth one fourth of the shape now one fourth of the shape we have to color here it is given four parts of a circle we have to color only one part four parts of a square we have to color only one part of the square then again same case sixth question we are having color one fourth of the collection same case one by four of sixteen that means sixteen divided by four that is equal to four so we have to color only four of the shapes next we are having one fourth of twenty one fourth of twenty means twenty divided by four that is equal to five so we have to color five circles here next is one fourth of eight one fourth of eight means eight divided by four that is equal to two so we have to color only two triangles seventh question is color one fifth of the shape we have to color only one part out of five equal parts in this question next is question number eight color one fifth of the collection now what we will do one by five of twenty that is equal to twenty divided by five so what is twenty divided by five that is equal to four we have to color four balls in this next is one fifth of ten that is equal to ten divided by five so ten divided by five will be equal to two we have to color two triangles in this next is we are having one fifth of fifteen that is equal to fifteen divided by five that is equal to three so we have to color only three stars out of the fifteen stars question number nine is complete the table now we have to find the fraction here again first part is one half of 24 one by two of 24 will be equal to 24 divided by 2 now we will show the division also so 24 inside the bracket and 2 outside the bracket 2 ones are 2 2 minus 2 will be equal to 0 then bring 4 down 2 2 is a 4 4 minus 4 will be equal to 0 so the answer is 12 means 24 half of 24 is 12 next is half of 40 that is equal to 40 divided by 2 so when we divide 40 by 2 
टू फोर टू टू ज़ा फोर फोर माइनस फोर विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड ब्रिंग जीरो डाउन टू जीरो ज़ा जीरो दैट मीन्स ट्वेंटी मीन्स हाफ ऑफ फोर्टी इज ट्वेंटी नेक्स्ट इज वन बाय टू ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स वन बाय टू ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स मीन्स डिवाइड थर्टी सिक्स बाय टू नाउ थर्टी सिक्स इज द डिविडेंड इन साइड द ब्रैकेट टू इज द डिवाइजर आउटसाइड द ब्रैकेट टू वन ज़ा टू थ्री माइनस टू विल बी इक्वल टू वन एंड ब्रिंग सिक्स डाउन टू एट ज़ा सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन माइनस सिक्सटीन विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज वन हाफ ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स इज एटीन नेक्स्ट इज वन बाय थ्री ऑफ फोर्टी एट मीन्स वन थर्ड ऑफ फोर्टी एट वन थर्ड मीन्स वी हैव टू डिवाइड दी गिवन नंबर बाय थ्री दैट इज फोर्टी एट डिवाइड बाय थ्री नाउ वी डिवाइड फोर्टी एट बाय थ्री थ्री वन ज़ा थ्री फोर माइनस थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू वन ब्रिंग एट डाउन थ्री सिक्स ज़ा एटीन एटीन माइनस एटीन विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो नेक्स्ट इज वन फिफ्थ ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव वन फिफ्थ ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव मीन्स फोर्टी फाइव डिवाइड बाई फाइव वी हैव टू डिवाइड द नंबर विद द फ्रैक्शन फोर्टी फाइव डिवाइड बाई फाइव इज फाइव आउटसाइड द ब्रैकेट फोर्टी फाइव इन साइड द ब्रैकेट फाइव नाइन ज़ा फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी फाइव माइनस फोर्टी फाइव विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो नेक्स्ट इज वन थर्ड ऑफ थर्टी थ्री वन थर्ड ऑफ थर्टी थ्री मीन्स डिवाइड थर्टी थ्री बाई थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू थर्टी थ्री इन साइड द ब्रैकेट थ्री आउटसाइड थ्री वन ज़ा थ्री 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 ज़ा थ्री माइनस थ्री जीरो देन ब्रिंग थ्री डाउन थ्री वन ज़ा थ्री थ्री माइनस थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो द आंसर इज इलेवन वन थर्ड ऑफ थर्टी थ्री विल बी इक्वल टू इलेवन यू हैव टू कम्प्लीट एक्टिविटी वन एंड एक्टिविटी टू इन बुक एंड ओनली यू हैव टू राइट क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ऑफ एक्टिविटी टू इन नोटबुक ऑल्सो टुमारो वी विल डू न्यूमिरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ अ फ्रैक्शन थैंक यू शन स्टार्स दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे यू कैन ड्रॉप योर क्वेरीज ऑन गूगल क्लासरूम थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे